The thumbnail of this video is 100% AI generated. This is me in front of the Burj Khalifa. This is me in a private jet. This is me at the Eiffel Tower. And this is me in gambling. And none of these videos are real. These are all AI generated images made by a model that is trained on my face. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do the exact same thing and train a model on your face and generate all sorts of images of you in different scenarios and places. But before we do that, hit the subscribe button. In order to train a model to recognize your face, you need to create something called a LoRa. LoRa is a low rank adaptation which simply means that the AI model generates all high quality images but it doesn't recognize who you are or your facial features look like. For that to happen, you need to provide the model with a set of data of your faces, your images so the model recognizes who you are and or replicate your facial features and faces in the images. Adding matrices into the cross attention layers of your existing model so you can create the sort of outputs that you are demanding that is your particular face and the reason why LoRa is such a powerful method the training is much faster the compute requirements are very low and the train weights are much much smaller than the original models in order to train a LoRa you need two things first your training data set and the second a trainer let's start with the first one the data set so here I have a collection of these images of myself that I've gathered transferred from my phone and ideally you can have these images where you, your face can be clearly visible and these should ideally be in different lighting conditions with different poses so the model better understands the context of your face and it can replicate it easily right and the model requires these images to be in the jpg format to convert these images into a jpg i've created a simple python script that i'll just quickly run and convert all these images into jpg so here all the images are being converted and these images need to be in a particular file order that is 1.jpg234 so here's a folder created with the name ayush so here i have all these images in a jpeg format now you need to just zip this folder with the images for the model to use i'll just quickly compress it and boom so once the zip file is created the data set is created we'll quickly go to the flux dev lora trainer by ostris the link is given below you can just go on to there uh, you'll go on to replit that is a website where people host and share their own AI models. You need to create an account. The process is very simple. Once that is done, you will go to this Austria's Flux Dev LoRa Trainer. So we'll go into the training section. Under train, we'll go choose the form section. I'll, the destination is what model you need to choose. We'll just create a new model. Uh, for this, we'll just name it AYEUSH. Anything works, I'll make it private so it's only available for me you can obviously make this public so this is the input images the data set where you need to upload it right i'll just quickly choose it i can just drag and drop it so i'll just quickly choose the zip file i created and drop it here again you can read all the description about it here it will help you so now coming on to the trigger word this trigger word uh, refers to a particular string that is a particular word that you can put in that will be a reference for the model to call this LoRa or the data set that you have just given to it. That means is if I give it a string or a word that is this, Ayush, uh, whenever I give it a prompt, for example, uh, create a photo of Ayush in a private jet, it will have the keyword Ayush and it will refer to the data set we have just provided. So it will choose that and will be able to create my specific face. We'll keep most of the things as default auto captions and default right doesn't need to be filled in the steps you can choose a thousand two thousand i think like two thousand is good enough steps for me to just train it laura rank is cool so now coming on to the main two things the hf repo id and the hf token hf stands for hugging face hugging face is sort of like github where people just upload their ai models for everyone to use so whenever you hear something this ai model has been open sourced how you can get it you can download that model from hugging face this is an online directory or repository for these kind of models we'll go on to in the account section and the access tokens right there we'll just create a new token to be used on the replicate we'll just name it anything uh, let's name it replicate only and uh, we'll just give it all the necessary permissions so it doesn't throw any permission errors Awesome, this is again a one-time creation. Again, once the permissions are all given, we'll just quickly create the token. So again, this token is just showed to you one time. You need to again copy it and save it somewhere. 
and do not share it with anyone else or they will have access to your hugging face id so again we have the token here for the repo id uh, we'll just create a repo here as well the hf repo id is nothing but your username on hugging face plus the model or the rep uh, the repo id that you want to have so i'll go i'll quickly check what my username is it is a use i'll just copy it again it will if you don't have a repo it will create it for you and uh, i'll just quickly give it a by us replicate blocks you can name it anything you want so no need to worry about that you can just give it your username and the repo id that is enough so once all of that is done you don't need to put in anything else you can just click on create training so for it will load for a couple of seconds as you can see now the training has started you will be able to see all the logs here you can see the uh, the descriptions of the images are also being auto captioned here and also for this to work you need to add your credit card or your payment method into the replicate.com it charges you about two to three dollars for the entire training processes and a couple of cents for the generation method that i'll show you in the next step the entire training process will take about 20 to 30 minutes and if you face any errors just comment them down below i might be able to help or you can just ask directly to me on twitter we'll just wait for the model training to get complete awesome now it looks like the model has completed its training process and here i can see how i can use it in code with javascript python with or with a curl request so if you go onto the hugging face and under your repositories you will see a model has been created by the name of ayush replicate flux created one minute ago and if we go inside it and go to the files and versions of it we'll see the model files right here so loras are basically the safe tensor files that you're going to be using this is the crux that is the particular adaptation of the model that has been for your face again the beauty of this is you can download these files and run it locally or on any other place use it anywhere but for the sake of this video we'll be using it on another replicate page which is called flux def lora which is just the inferencing part of it you can use it to just put in your hugging face uh, lora file and it will take your model and start creating the images according to you we have to do we'll just quickly get back onto the repository we'll just copy the repository here we'll just paste it right here and while going into the prompt create an image of ayush again ayush is our trigger word that will do what it will allow the model to use the safe lora tensor files and create the images on with my face on it on a private jet we'll just quickly run it again you might be seeing some errors right here it says you need to set up billing so in order to set up billing you will just have to go onto your account so here we have we are seeing a total price of two dollar eleven cents for the lora training that we just did and i think i did add my payment method already here hugging face repo id that i just copy and pasted here i'll just quickly click on run it will show you the logs of it it shows that the model the lora of from the hugging face is now loaded and is right now creating the image for you it takes a couple of seconds to generate the image again it can it generated a funny image but again it shows like the beard and the eyes the everything it in, is in place right i'll make it generated a very candid photo i'll just quickly download it now i'll generate another one i'll generate an iphone selfie of ayush again that's the trigger word uh, on a beach i'll just click on run and it will generate the image for me takes a couple of seconds and a couple of pennies right oh awesome so as you can see it shows a selfie taken from an iphone and i am at the beach and the beard and the hair and everything even the eyes and the eyebrows i think it has kept very decent uh, ayush in front of taj mahal I've been to Taj Mahal but I didn't give it any photo of me in front of Taj Mahal. I'll just quickly click on run and perfect it generates me the image of myself in front of Taj Mahal. I think this is pretty close to a realistic image. I don't think I can make 
it out right if it's fake or not if it's ai generated or not i can again i can tweak the close whatever i need in uh, with just a single prompt taj mahal is done what else is remaining i think uh, i fill tower in a casual attire and is smiling i'll just click on run and any minute now i'll just get the output awesome as you can see it has generated a very good image of me looks exactly like me in front of the eiffel tower and the image is indeed smiling awesome so i think the model is pretty perfect from here on what else we need to generate so again let's try something like image of ayush at the casino awesome as you can see it created an image of me in a tuxedo at a casino gambling my world away wow pretty good photo Ayush on a yacht. Let's generate just one image quickly in a nine by sixteen aspect ratio for our Instagram. Pretty impressive results it has given me. You can see it. It is specifically me in a suit on a yacht in the ocean. I love it. Awesome. I'll just quickly download it. So I'll just say close a photo of Ayush standing on the Great Wall of China. Wow. As you can see, I am holding the phone, taking a photo, and I am on the Great Wall of China. Again, if you want more higher quality, you can obviously play around, increasing the number of inference steps, and play around with the settings, and you will get a perfect result of you in any place, at any time, at anywhere. So before we wrap this up, I just want to talk to you about the implications of this. What you can specifically do, you can have product images of different sorts. You can have model images of different sorts. Train it. And for more such videos, you should subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want more videos on any specific topics, you should comment it down below. Again, a word of advice: do not use any person's images without their consent. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Peace.